guys and welcome back to another video today i am installing some new brake pads on my car my brakes have been squeaking for honestly a while now so it was time for this um the only thing i am doing are the pads i'm not doing the rotors but for now i'm doing just that i did go with the ebc brakes this is their yellow stuff one um they have different ones they have the green stuff red stuff yellow stuff and then all these other ones <laughs> but i did get this one and it says that the yellow stuff is an ultra high friction aramid formulation for brake improvement on heavily loaded vehicles or ultra fast street use this is not fast but you know entry level track day use on passenger cars and muscle cars so this one i believe was for like street use and like a little bit of track use so i did want to upgrade just from like the regular street pad so i did get these these do produce a little bit more brake dust which I guess I didn't think about it because I do have white wheels, so it's gonna be even more of a nightmare. But it's not like these stay clean at all, anyways. So, same, same, I guess. So, hopefully, this doesn't take me forever because right now there's shade, but it's gonna be like 90 degrees today or like over 90 degrees. I was supposed to do this yesterday, but it was so hot, so I did not do that. Oh, it comes with this little thank you installation manual. Okay. And then it comes with the little like plate things. I don't really know where this goes yet. So when I did buy these, I was confused because it says this one says for Toyota 86, but this one says for a Subaru Tribeca. So I did email them. I, I guess I'm pretty sure they're like universal. They're the front these are way heavier. So let me call Jack up the car and take off the wheels really quickly. basically going to be doing here is lifting up the caliper and taking out the pads i'm trying to see if they're worn down but i can't really see from here so we're just going to upgrade them anyways so you're going to be taking off this bolt right here and it is a 14 millimeter and we're just taking this off this whole thing is going to swing up oh i got it i got it that should be the only one you take off as to what i saw You can literally just take this off with your hands. I guess there's still like enough left, but I don't know. Probably wear gloves doing this, honestly. So these are the pistons that I need to compress and I do have a C-clump for that. So I'm just going to be doing that after I put in the new ones. I figured out where these little plates go. So they're just gonna go in the back of the brake pad. They're just gonna like kind of clip in if you play with it. So at first I was like, they don't fit anywhere because they really don't clip in, but you have to kind of pop them in. You see how it doesn't fit? You just like push them in. And then so they'll look like this, at least for these brakes. I don't know if all brake pads have like little plates like this. So now that I have that, I guess I should have just compressed the piston first. So I do have a C-clamp. I got this at Home Depot. It was probably like $10. This is a 4-inch one. Um, I was reading people used 6-inch, but the 6-inch just looked really big. I feel like this is a perfect size. So I'm using the 4-inch. You could probably find this on AutoZone, or if you don't want to buy them, I'm pretty sure AutoZone like rents them out. Don't quote me on that. So basically what you're going to want to do is you're compressing these pistons. They are popped out a little bit because these brake pads are much shorter. So they like adjust to this length. But with the new brake pads, they're way thicker. So you need to push them in or else this whole caliper is not going to close. I'm going to grab one of the old brake pads and lay it on there. I think that's as much as it goes. Remove this now. Oh, that just landed on my foot. Okay. That 
just as compressed as it's gonna get. This little clip does not go in. This stays on top and should be touching this metal piece. And for this clip, you want to get it inside this little metal like clasp. Don't put it on top. That's how I had mine at first and I was trying to take it out because I accidentally went in that way. So this is how it should be looking like. I'm just gonna get under really quick and do the back ones. Oh, the sun is really my face. So this one, you can see with the curvature, it's gonna be going like this as well. You know, it's going to be Then I'm gonna put back the 14 mil. Well, for the rear ones, it's gonna be pretty much the same. Though it is a little bit smaller, so be doing the exact same step. So just do that. Take off the 14 millimeter bolt that is right here. It is so much easier if you lay down there, especially because I ain't got the guns up here. So you need like all the leverage and like downforce you can get. Do the same thing. Slide it up. I didn't even show a comparison uh, of the new brakes and the old ones together. So these, there's one. The difference is. little metal brackets that it comes with to these as well my head is on fire oh my goodness you can probably cook something on it right now it's freaking hot so on this caliper there's only one piston that we have to compress Oh my gosh, not again. Fully compressed. Let this go. It is so hot. I know I keep complaining that it's hot. I just hate the heat. get stuck so you can just like push it in and out like it'll compress and it'll go in so now that I did both the front and the rear and I showed you guys how to do that I'm just gonna knock out the other side really quickly and not film it because it honestly takes longer when I am filming so I'm just gonna try and do that before you do start driving make sure you pump the brake a couple times because I just put my foot down right now and it went all the way straight through not like a normal brake so make sure you pump it and there we go so I drove the car for a good while and honestly I feel the difference first of all I don't think I hear the squeak anymore which was my main concern like it was really annoying and that's why I thought my brake pads were like donezo and honestly the brake response now is very very good and I honestly really like them so if you're looking to upgrade your brake pads I would recommend these um long term I don't know yet I will probably give an updated like later on um so far I'm happy with them I survived so I did it right somewhat I also wanted to mention that my brand finally launched I did launch like maybe a week ago and the website is live now I'm gonna leave everything linked down below and also I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for 21,000 subscribers it honestly means the world and I know I said I was gonna do a giveaway at 20,000 subscribers I didn't have the items that I wanted to give away they are coming now 
and they are shipping I don't know how long it will take so hopefully in the next few videos you guys will see the new giveaway and I'm so excited and yeah so I just want to say thank you guys again and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if it was somewhat helpful if you guys have any questions still let me know down below so I hope this video helped and I'll see you guys in my next one bye